So let's go anger a bunch of bees and see how many bees we can catch at once. I think this is the spot. I'm going to plop this down. Oh. Okay. What is going on, brothers and sisters? Welcome back to Atrio, the deepest, darkest automation game you'll ever find. So we got last time when we were getting our ass beat by some bees, we got our upgrade ship. So let's upgrade this to level three. And with that, I can do, uh, let's see, increase your maximum battery. What's this? Increases the stack in my inventory to 75. I'm going to do that. Start research. That's 2100 seconds. So we can do... Uh, one, two, three, one, two. And then I can wait for the last little bit of time for that while we kind of work. So last time we talked about automating blue mushrooms. So why don't we take a look at this and let's see what we got for the farm here. So the planters requires electrolytes and blood ore. So why don't I get this set up again? So why don't I come over here? I am a little short on product. Let me do... Can I change pickers for other things? Hold on. No, so they're just like, there's a bunch of stuff here, but blood petals, woozy tears. Okay. I was wondering if I could be like, pick up ores. So like if they saw ores sitting on a conveyor belt, they'd move them. Not the case, unfortunately. So we'll work with what we got as usual. A water pump. Place on any blood water, whatever. So let's do this here. I'm going to grab some of these and toss them all in here. I'm gonna go grab some electrolyte petals. And if this is the way I'm gonna have to do automation, then we will eventually. I just wanna see if I can get what should be proper materials. Like I should just be able to get sorters of some, of some instance, right? Like that should just be a thing. All right, cool. Put all that away. What do I got extra? I got an ingot in here. Let's just put that back in there. And for now, that'll just have to do. Okay, so we got electrolytes moving. I'm going to grab just those six. Let's build a planter or two. Beautiful. Look at that. Oh, it's gorgeous. It's stunning. All right. We'll just, I'll build two because why not? And let's just take this planter and put it on eight. So I'm going to plop it, I guess, over here for now. I'm not sure how I want these to go or what they're going to do. Blood water? We need blood water. Okay, hold on. So I'll put five of those in there. I'll put five of those in there. Research is done. Let's come here. All right, backpack has been increased. So these will be maximum batteries. This is my backpack size, 2100. Yes, let's do that come oops not this i want to go here so one two three four five and we'll wait for the last little bit there and blood water i think i saw that must be this red thing i saw out here right i think it was over here yeah right here i think that's blood water that's where i saw the other uh the other blood ingot too that's the limit yeah like right here look there's some there's another blood rock patch right there there's one right there is there one there too there's one there so we could we could maybe move blood farming over here we'll see okay so now let's build this pump i need some ingots and more electrolytes let's grab those and we'll throw a pump or two down here and kind of see what that's all about let me grab that electrolytes it's what plants crave it's actually kind of true in here because that's what we're using them for. So let's make a water pump. It's beautiful. Look at it. I love it. Okay, skip. And let's make another one. So with that, let's toss them here on this. We'll do put them on this little one by two right here. How's this blood water up here look? Oh, that's big. Where's it go? Is there a blood lake? There is a blood lake. Ah! It hurts. But you know, that makes sense. I am kind of a robot. I don't like blood water very well. I've lived, I've learned, I've figured out my problems in life. 
All right, so I'm going to take these, put this pump down. That's big. Okay, so this is the output. So what if I do something like this? I'm just going to do that for a second because I want to see how this works. Ah, I don't like it. I'm going to stand by for a minute. All right, research is complete to 30 now. And what do I want next, really? I guess I'll just do the torch duration for now. I mean, actually, probably the reduce the physical damage might be really nice. Battery buffs last longer. Why don't I go with max health upgrade? Yeah, let's take the max health upgrade. Start that research. I'll just kind of let that churn in the background. I took down my planters because I'm going to bring them up here a bit. Grab those, too. I want to make a few of these. So here, I was trying to see what, um, just kind of how this worked, right? So actually, I am going to just do it like this so I can kind of see. And then let me build my planters. Where are they? Here. No, that's the ore harvester. Medium health pack. Research. Where are the planters? There they are. So I'm going to do this. Actually, why don't I just do it kind of like this? I think I'm going to do bam, bam. Oh, you know, I don't think this gets automated. Let me see if I can automate it. Yes, I can, right? Yeah, I can. So if I do one of these... Is that going to get sucked in? It does get sucked in. Okay, cool. So if I put one here, I am just going to put one of these down just because I think it'll look a little better than it just kind of hitting the ground and sucking in. So this way, there's at least some sort of marker for us to know that, okay, things are being bounced into such and such place. So let's add seeds and let's add seeds. So I am going to have to find a way to automate the seeds at some point, I think. And also, I'm thinking... I'm just going to do this real quick. Just to see if... Uh, oh, battery's empty. Battery is fine again. Again, don't know why I care, but I'm going to pretend that I do. I don't know if these connect or, or how this works exactly. Change recipe. Oh, we got other mushrooms, purple and red. Cool. So we'll kind of just keep an eye on that. Oh, wait. So if I pick. Okay. And then it uses the next seed, I assume. Yeah, it does. So I'm confused. If I'm just getting a one to one, right? Why would I... Where was it? Why would I... Let me just see if I get more than one seed out of these, right? I got two. Oh, they make two. Okay. So I can double my output. Can I build those in a factory? I can't. I got an idea. All right, you ready for this? So we're going to do this. So we're going to make a a farming station here all along these lines. So what I would do is there's nothing there. So here to here. These are where potential farms could be, right? So I'm going to do that, and then I would get a picker station like this, right? And put him here. This is probably a decent spot. If I set you to harvest, you can't freaking harvest mushrooms. What is your point? Why would I do this? 
why would I do this? There's got to be a way to automate this part. And why can't they pick blue mushrooms? Hmm. Well, I thought I was on to something here, but apparently... Apparently I'm not. Is there... There's no other automation thing. Bees. Research booster. Ore harvester. Can I put an ore harvester on it? Like, no. That's stupid. Huh. So I, I, I understand this process. Like, it makes sense, but why do I have to come over here and pick them all myself? You know what I mean? Like, that's the part that doesn't make a lot of sense to me. And that annoys me quite a bit. And I can only have a stack of five in them, which is fine. But they're pretty quick too. But why can't I pick? Mm -hmm. It's got to come later, I suppose. It's got to come later, right? Because why else would that would it put me through this hassle? This is stupid. That's pretty dumb. I, one thing I'm not impressed with is how limited the automation is right now. Like... Why can't I have someone pick these, or why don't they pick themselves? Can I put it up here? Six? No, I can't put it up there either. So, like, I don't know. That That's a bit annoying. So I hope that gets settled, but I, I want it now. Like, why? it's an automation game. Why would I do all this manual intervention? Like, why would I sit here, hand make seeds to make flowers to then automatically produce stuff? Like, if I can't just do it automatically that's what automation's for so let's see can i let's try let's try something else no because there's no output on this right no there's not we go to uh automation that's the pumpy all right let's see a planter here yeah, so there's only an input. You see when I rotate it here, it's just an in. And it only faces two directions as well, which is goofy, but okay. Like, I can do this. So let's, okay, let me just make a bunch of planners. I want to fill this up at least. I want to make it I want to make it do what I want to do. Uh, how many do I need? Uh, two more. One, two. One, two, three... Five. Okay, so that's what it would do. This is also where I wish I could sort things because I, I guarantee, I don't know if it's a one-to-one, -one, but I feel like it's not a one-to-one, -one, you know what I mean? So if I do that, then let's grab, we need more of these. Actually, I think that might be enough. One, two, three, four it was just enough five and six and now i just need to make some of these i'm gonna need more ingots i'll start these one two three i need to make three more i love seeing all these things fly through the air though that is one thing i absolutely enjoy i do like this game a lot but I, it, it's very aggravating to have an automation game where i have to do so much manual intervention still like that's one of the things like it, it's automated if i want to do manual great give me the opportunity to do it myself but i don't i want to automate i want to make this automated i want to sort my items and i want to have these guys come pick my mushrooms is that so much to ask all right we got the all of our pumpies made so i'm just gonna do a little dumpy all right all these are going looking fantastic we'll fill those in how many seeds do I have? Not a lot. So let's do this. Go to equipment. Make seeds. Two at a time. Like that part makes sense. Like it's nice that, you know, it's giving me more. Like that's how it should work, right? It'd be it'd be weird in this instance if I couldn't do that. But I want to hope I can automate this at some point. All right, let's hit store. I'm just going to kind of go down the line here. Store. Store that. I know I'm short on some some mushrooms here. So 
We'll pick these. This is a, episode's all about farming, baby. Let's get farming. Pick that one too. Okay. I'm gonna pick all these. We'll do one round of picking. Turn them all into seeds. Okay. Thank you. And yeah. Cause I want to be able to like get this. I want to be able to get the mushrooms out and turn some of these into seeds and then output them back into here as well. Like automatically send them in. I just don't know if that part will be automated cause there's only one input on these, which the input looks like it's for water, right? So we'll have to kind of see we're on borrowed time for that, but let's just do this. So store all that. All right, now let's go look at our mission. We'll let those kind of do its thing for a moment. And I need to make 35 batteries. So why don't we work on that? I've got seven. I'm going to need to make 35. So why don't I, I'm going to go in. I'm going to top this machine off again. You know what? Since I've got a, well, I don't have a full chest of these. Let me take that out. Let me take these out. I'm going to. Once that's got a full chest, I'm going to set up a function. I'm going to set this up to come into here so it does it automatically. I don't. I, it's going to take a while to get ingots maxed out. And same thing for the electrolytes. So I'm just going to take those 50. I'm going to store all that in there. 86 of them. Let's just grab some of these. Do the same thing. Just store all that in there. I'm going to put the quartz away. Again, I'm just gonna throw this actually I, I need some quartz so I'm just gonna hold on to that let's go to see our picker pal buddy what's up bro grab all that nice 70 stacks of 75 is real nice does that mean my chest can go to 75 no that's goofy why can my inventory hold 75 I guess my suits better all right and store so there we go we'll let those start crafting some electrolytes again I'm going to go sit here and do a very boring thing called farming blue mushrooms because there's no way to automate blue mushrooms at this point of the game. You know, after I said that, you know what I thought of? Maybe there's stuff I have to go explore. And then when I explore, I'll find a new tech. But normally new recipes come from from our heart, heart box. So I don't think that's going to be the case, but it could be, I guess it could be the case. I am an idiot. Look at this. I remembered as I was picking those mushrooms, still stewing about how I couldn't automate them. And I was like, wait, I remember it said there was two trainings available. And I came over here and I was like, I don't know what training meant. There's a tab for it. Look at this. Planters. Tornitoads. Six, pluck six spaces in front of them. Harvest wild mushrooms and turn them into seeds. Bees will replenish seeds if fully grown mushrooms are around. And that'll get mud water. So it'll replenish seeds if fully grown mushrooms are around. So like maybe one, two, three, four, five, six. They have seven. So maybe we can automate that with bees. So let's hold on. What what else do, do you tell me? Consuming batteries will keep you alive. They'll apply different buffs for a certain amount of time. It doesn't tell me the time, but okay, cool. Uh, sap tab. Mini deer can digest sap and other organic things. Okay, so... Okay, these are things that I don't know about. <gasps> a pushback. They push every second item. Am I supposed to have all this stuff? Have I... Was I supposed to explore a lot more? I have connected to Station 3. Why don't we go connect to Station 1 and see how, how much we've messed up here. Let's go check out Station 1. So we got these guys rolling here. We'll also be checking out the bees. We see how far station one is first. It's like 
What are these? Oh, that's water? Okay, there is blood over here. I do gotta head back. I'm gonna go make a bunch of light bulbs for this trip. I figured I'd start from down here. So we did find a new picker pal. Hey buddy, you'll come home with us. All right, let's keep exploring. I'm just gonna kind of keep, I'm gonna go in a straight line and just kind of see what we got going on here. Look at all these bees. Wow, this is bee territory. All right, and this is the last one that I can support power wise. Okay, so we got some new water down here. This might be a great area for a farm. That water hurts. That's blood water, that's clean water. Bunch more grow plants here as well. What's with this like gap? Okay, th there's a thing there. I'm gonna take damage. One, one, oh, just made it. All right, I'm gonna go make a couple more light bulbs and we're gonna do an upgrade. And also I'm gonna make some smoke traps while we're there because while we're back here, let's go try and capture some of these bees. Uh, since we need bees to potentially populate that honey that we're missing, right? Right. God, I did all that whining and the game did tell me how to do it. It was just a little obscured. I should have I should have looked deeper, that's for sure. Research went off, so that research is complete. Let's uh, grab that. Uh, I don't think I care about this still. So I think I'm going to go with... I'm going to take the damage reduction, I guess. Buffs last longer could be pretty good as well. Um, you know what? No, I'm going to take the burn duration. Oops, start research. And then I'm going to use some of these. Okay, just to get that going. And we'll let that kind of play out. And what I want to do is grab this. Put that. Uh, just can't reach to there. Beautiful. So those will bounce across. And what I need to do is up this. So right now, 12, let's up it to 15. I really enjoy these dispensers. It allows you to set specific amounts to be pu pushed through. The only thing is the storage of them is a little small, right? Change this to 20 a minute. And let's add another picker. So I've got two pickers on these fields here. Let's zoom out a bit. So I've got two pickers on these fields. I've got two pickers on these fields here. And then I've got two pickers on these fields. I feel like that's honestly kind of my cap for those fields. So why don't I get a picker over here and we start utilizing these fields as well. So for that, I am going to need some light sourcing. That That's a very useless light. Let me come over here. Maybe if I do something like this, and then I kind of bring it here. And then I probably go like this, right? Yeah. Like, look how far back that goes. So we do something like this and like that. That'll be two more. I do need to get another lamp to connect over here. I wonder if I straightened these out, if I could make these any better. No. Nope, just makes them worse. There we go. Looks like you can gain more length by kind of placing diagonals. It doesn't look as good, but it's just kind of what it is. So let's go grab some glass. I got quartz on me. I've got some glass making. I just threw this quick factory down to make me glass. Let's take all this back up and let's make some more light bulbs here. Craft that up. So our Q is now 47. Thing is, this isn't going to keep up for it right now until we get this other these other bots down. So we got to get that taken care of next. Next and first and first and foremost. So if I come here, I'm gonna put it up there, like that. 
And then we're going to do this. I'm going to need more of these. Okay. And then I'm going to try and pass these up to here. Okay. So I'm going to make one centralized kind of play for this. So once that first one crafts, right, I'm going to go like this. So that's one. Like that. And then we're going to go like this. Two. And so on. Oh, but we're going to need a light out here. Unfortunate. That's kind of a, a big waste there. It feels like such a waste. But it's really, it is just what it is. So, and then I'm going to go like this. And then the last one will be here. Like this, I suppose. Right? Yeah, like this. Like that. And then I'm going to do this. And then we're going to go like this. Like that. And that out. I want to see things jumping everywhere like that. So you see, now we've got this whole path set up and it'll just kind of send everything across the way. And these pickers will get a good job done. And plus they get there faster than if you use conveyor belts, which is really neat. And they just look cool and sound cool. And I like everything about them. All right. So we got that done and I just need to go back exploring a little bit here. I'm going to go capture bees. So I'm going to capture these bees here. I toss this down and then use that capture so I got two bees awesome Put that down capture so there's three bees what do I need for a beehive I need one honey and two bees so let's do that again so I'm gonna go I've got that's my last trap so let's go anger a bunch of bees and see how many bees we can catch at once I think this is the spot. I'm going to plop this down. Oh. Okay. Just knock that up. Ow. Oh, I it didn't stun him. Oh, maybe something else was mad at me. Whoopsies. All right. We'll, we'll, we'll rebuttal that one. That was a mistake there. I thought I would have been fast enough to aggro all of them before I did that. But so you know what? That's okay. That was on me. I didn't realize those bees were that strong because that, that was pretty that was pretty strong that 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 hurt that hurt a lot i'm gonna see if i can just capture them without making them angry I, I feel like that is a good possibility it, it just makes a lot of sense doesn't it so why don't i just plop like one of these down here i just use that and then i oh that one's not cat that, that one wasn't stunned that one was though and i pick up that honey okay so i'm gonna do that again just right here and we're going to capture all of these bees. Ah! I don't have another one ready. Woo! Got it. Capture. Capture. Oh, they're mad now, too. All right, that's good. That's good bees. Good, good, good job. Thank you. All right, so I got 10 bees. That's plenty of bees. That's a lot of bees. Let's, let's go take care of these bees. Let's make 12 bees. Okay. How much honey do I have? 12. That's a lot of bees and honey. Let's go. Let's finish this automation process. I'm assuming once I turn in 35 batteries, maybe I'll get that uh, toad nado thingy we saw here. That thing. That'll give these things the good old gluck gluck. So let's go up here. And let's build a few of these. I don't actually know how many of these. I'm actually drop seeds into planters, so... I'm going to make a bunch just because they look cool anyways. So I'm not really sure how much I need to do with this. Okay, hold on. Uh, the bee box spawns bees. Bees will grab seeds from plants and drop them off at your planters. Okay. So I think three is probably good for now. Let's, um, let's put these down. Oh, you know what? One is honestly probably good. Let me just do this, though. What the heck? My guy just... <laughs> That, that looks so goofy when he was standing still. Okay, I'm gonna... Oh, I guess if you hold shift, press shift when you have an item out, it does that. Okay. Actually, I can just put, like, the bees here. You can't rotate the bees, though. 
It's like, what if I did this? I'll put one on each end here just so they look good. Did I put one in the middle? No, it's too thick. No honey. So now... Like one, two, three. Actually, this one wouldn't be here. How far do these go? You know, I'll put them like right in the middle here. Like this. We'll do that. And actually, I'll make a fourth one just to have four. Like this. So it just kind of fits here, right? I'll think about the aesthetics later. But for now, this actually just works. All right, I'm going to, what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to do some manual farming again because these guys will do the replenishments for me eventually. So I'm just going to take care of this manually, make the 35 batteries, and in the next episode, we'll turn those in and maybe I'll get that Toadnado thing so I can uh, automate this even further. And if I don't, we're going to go on an ex exploration to find site number one. So I'm going to have to upgrade a lot of our stuff here and get more glow plant factories on, on the rundown. Hey, a broken down dispenser chest. But all right, brothers and sisters, I'm going to head out of here. I hope the rest of your day is not too shabby. And don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe.